Let's move on to the waist now. And this one will be a little bit more straightforward. There's only one little trick in here that I'm gonna use to get the orientation of our little blasters here. But everything else is gonna be just extracting centroids and, and uh, general parenting. So if you remember, we split our waist from before. So now I wanna grab this blaster here. So I'm gonna hit S, go to group selection, and I'm gonna grab the blaster, and I'm gonna grab this guy as well, the little blue ring in here. And I'm going to split these. I'm gonna drag that over here. Okay, so really quick, I wanna extract the centroid, and I'll leave the name on. So now we have our two items here. And if I turn on my name, we have the blaster body R and the blaster emit R. So I'll put down a rig doctor, initialize the transform. So now we have joints. And the most important thing here that uh, I want to do with this blaster is when I'm animating it, I want my control to be oriented to the orientation of the blaster, right? I don't want to start off um, with more of like a world axis, right? I want to start off with the same axis as our blaster. So the way I'm going to do that is now that I have these two joints, I'm going to parent our joints. So the blaster emitter, wait, hang on, I got to do that the other way. So the body is going to go into the blaster emitter. And then we're going to orient our joints. So now we have this proper orientation. And then within our orient joints, I want the up vector to be Y. So now we're pointing straight up. So if you look at the change here, if I turn that off, it kind of looks a little crooked. With the up vector selected, it's now nice and straight. And last step here, I want to remove, let's see, I want to go to point selection and I'm just gonna remove that end joint. So now we're left with just this joint right here. And if I put my name on, you can see it a little bit better. So if I go to rig pose and now select this, you see that our orientation is lined up exactly to the way that we want it. Okay, so to keep things clean here, I'm going to put this into a subnet and I'm going to say extract center point, extract center point. One thing I want to do is when I'm animating with this joint, I want to have this parented to a static joint, right? So this will be our, this will serve as our pivot joint here, just to kind of illustrate my point. This is going to serve as our pivot point, right? But then I want this connected to another joint that's connected to the hips. So I'm gonna put down an attribute wrangle and just quickly change the name here. So before I do that, I'm gonna mirror, or rather a skeleton mirror, and mirror the joint over, okay? Let's look again for our token, and now we have joints on both sides. So in here, I'm gonna say name is equal to name plus static. So now I have these static joints in here. So all I need to do now is just merge them together. So now I have all my joints on top of each other. One thing, uh, let's, let's actually, before we move forward, let's create static joints. And now I'm gonna want these joints in here, right, our pivot joints, to be FK joints. So I'm gonna assign a tag to these tags. FK. All right, call that assign FK. Put these back into each other and that should be good in there. So the only other joint that we need is our main hip joint in there. And I wanna grab that from the spine. So I'm gonna jump over to our head and grab this object merge and just copy and paste it. So now we have this. So let's grab that waist joint. That's gonna be spine zero. We'll split that, put down points. Name is equal to spine zero. Not spined, but spine zero. There we go. And we want to rename this. I'm gonna call this point. I'm gonna call this waist, okay? Merge these two. 
put down a parent joints. Let's open up the rig tree and our R is gonna go into the static and these two statics are gonna go into the waste. All right, so our joints of our waste are pretty much set up. All we need to do now is do our skinning. So we have our waste right here. Let's pack all this geometry. We're going to do name attribute, transfer attributes name, and let's do our shop material path as well. Here, we'll throw down a capture pack geometry. We'll take our skeleton, put that into there, into our second input. And now let's just quickly do some manual captures. So let's start with our waste first. We'll grab all these objects, not that. Let's see, one, two, three, hit enter, and then hit the second arrow next to the joint and grab our waist. So we have two more. Let's grab our blaster. Let's see the blaster, this ring here, and then this little uh, section in there. Hit enter. And within here, I'm actually gonna use the drop down list so I can be a little bit more exact. And this is gonna be blaster body R. So that is now connected to those. And one more blaster ring, the blaster shape in there. Press enter and then do the L. All right, let's put down a bone to form our joints into the second and third input. Put down a rig pose, slide that in there and see how this looks. So our waist is moving around. And if I select the blaster body R, that's moving around just as it should. Let's try the other side. All right, it's looking great. So now all we need to do from here is output the geo that we want. So this is going to be our waist geo skinned, get our skeleton from up there, put this down, waist skeleton, black and round. Okay, so geo is gonna go into the geo and the skeleton is gonna go into the skeleton. Let's jump to our final parent joints here, open that back up and our waist is gonna go into spine zero. So the waist is going to be connected into our main spine zero joint in there. So let's check this out. Let's jump into our bone form and already you see that it's been updated. So if I start moving this around and everything is moving as it should. So we're gonna move with the spine zero. We're not gonna move with the waist and our blaster bodies are moving. Awesome. And one more thing, really quick, if I wanna get our shaders back, I just need to unpack the output. And now I have my assigned shaders. All right. And then everything is going into the pack folder, ready for apex rigging. So let's jump back up here to the waist, do just a bit of housekeeping again, or node keeping that box in there, and just get everything nice and tidy. All right. So our waist is done. That was pretty quick. And next, we're going to move on to the arms.